Hello everyone, it's John. Welcome back to another review with me. Today is going to be the next in the series of craft dinner flavor boosts, and today is the poutine flavor. If you're not familiar with what poutine is, it is a French fried dish popularized in Canada where you put uh, brown gravy on top of a, a plate of french fries and you cover that uh, with cheese curds. You might put the cheese curds first. I'm not exactly sure which one direction it goes in. But there's like a little cartoony picture of it. Um, in the ingredients of this flavor boost there's sugars, cheddar, and parmesan cheese which uh, cheese curds are usually like a fresher white cheese. Um, I'm not sure how similar to cheddar or parmesan that is exactly. Uh, there's also modified milk ingredients, yeast extract, salt, and here's where the, the gravy part comes in. Dried chicken, dried chicken skin, chicken broth, dried beef, beef fat, natural flavors, spice, disodium phosphate, lactic acid, and silicon dioxide. Something I learned recently. Sodium phosphate or anything that starts with the word disodium, uh, let me disodium, it is uh, sometimes used as a preservative but also a flavor enhancer. Um, disodium ribonucleotides is like the, the main uh, word that encompasses all of these ingredients, um, but it is a sodium that's attached to, in this case, a phosphate. Uh, but it can be attached to other things too, and they're kind of like a MSG replacer. Um, you need a whole lot less than MSG uh, to flavor a larger amount. So this has some kind of umame uh, enhancer in that disodium phosphate. Um, strangely enough. The sodium ribonucleotides actually work best when they are used in conjunction with MSG at like a 2% mix. So like if you have a, a spice mix that's 98% MSG and 2% some type of disodium ribonucleotide, it actually enhances the MSG's ability to enhance the meaty umami flavor in your meal. Um, recently I have procured myself a small little jar of a mix of two to sodium ribonucleotides. forget which two it's in there. Uh, but I made some fried rice and I used a basically it was two teaspoons of MSG and then like an eighth of an eighth of a teaspoon of the of this other stuff. And I mixed it together like in a little shot glass just to you know mix together. And then I used that to season my big wok of fried rice. And I gotta tell you, one of the best fried rices I've ever had, and the best I've ever made. Anyway, let's go get to this KD Flavor Boost Poutine. Looks at it, it has like that brown gravy look to it. Let's give you some macaroni noises. This did not smell too great when I first put it in here, I'll say. It had like a peppery smell, but also like a chemically smell almost. Maybe it'll taste better than it smelled. There we go. No, that's the smell that I smelled it comes through the taste. The only way I can describe it is powdered gravy flavor. It almost has like a little shockiness to it. I can taste like that Parmesan kick to it. Parmesan and cheddar have really sharp flavors. So adding that to the already cheesy macaroni it kicks the cheese factor up a little bit 
it's the gravy part that I kind of don't like. It's not terrible. It's not gross or anything. I'm still going to eat this. There's a small bit of off-putting nature to it. It really... If it wasn't for that, this would be my favorite. Because I'm getting that meaty umami flavor to it. Mixed with the sharp, cheesy flavor. But there's just this uh, chalky powdered flavor and texture. And actually the more I'm eating it, the less I'm noticing that because the meatiness and the sharpness are actually really good. I'm like, I feel my mouth just like watering because of all the umami that's in this one. A lot of people think incorrectly that they have some type of reaction to MSG. And what I really think is happening with those people is they're used to bland food. So when they get something that has such a, a rich, full, meaty, umami flavor, something happens in their mouth when the, their tongue almost can't handle it. It's like if something's too spicy, you get really hot. Or if something's too sour, you can pucker up. Or sometimes if something's too sweet, it just kind of makes you feel almost sick to your stomach. I think when something's too umami, your salivary glands just like kind of get jumbled up. They might overreact and your mouth might water too much. Like, I know my mouth when I'm eating this is very much salivating. Even though this does have MSG, it does have that other thing in there. And the, the cheese and the meat adds a lot of rich umami to it. Some people think they have, like, tension in their head for MSG. Um, and maybe if, like, they're already prone to getting migraines, a little bit of tension might flip that off a little bit. But uh, I think, like, if you experience more rich umami flavors it's less likely to happen it's like if you eat more spicy food more often you're less likely to have bad reactions to it except in your stomach area i don't think your stomach could get used to that your mouth might but your stomach won't anyway i'm gonna keep eating this Now, I take it everything I said back about the smell off putting this. Not that it doesn't exist, because it did. But the more of this that I eat, the more I'm enjoying it, and the less I'm noticing that off putting chalkiness. The poutine one is my favorite so far. It's not spicy at all, uh, but it is tasty. I think it's the first one I had that didn't have any spice in it, because I had the jalapeno, the buffalo wing, and the butter chicken, and the butter chicken did have some spice to it. Um, so after this, I have two left. One is supposed to be the spiciest of all of them, and the other one is pink, and it's supposed to turn the whole bowl pink, and that's going to be interesting. But anyway, 
that was kind of an up and down thought process for me, but at the end of the day, the poutine flavor boost, I like. And that's it. If you like this, subscribe. Look at my other KD Boost videos. Two more to go. If you're seeing this in the future, those two already might exist, so look those up too. But, as they always say, goodbye.